former undisputed champion of the world. He has conquered pro wrestling even. He's conquered movies. He's conquered television. He's conquered cartoons. He's conquered singing and dancing. And now it's time to conquer a QA. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from the maddest man on the planet. Let's hear from Iron Mike Tyson. Twice. Big time. Uh, I already got a huge fan. Um, 
two, three things that you would say that uh, have made you successful throughout life, how you, you conquer different things throughout life and how you kind of reinvent yourself. Um, just what can we learn from uh, what you've experienced? I don't know. It's, um, the desire is to succeed in life and not to give up is because, you know, um, there's obstacles in the road. You know, this is going to happen. Um, hard times fall upon everybody. I don't care if you're the poorest guy in the world or you have to you're the richest guy in the world. You're going to experience some, um, you know, precarious quag quagmires in life and some adversities. And you just, no, one, no one's going to get out of here free. No one's going to die without experiencing any pain. That makes us who we are. That allows us to become adults and become mature. And it's just the way it is over the times and eons of life. You know, we have to go to this to become men and women in life. And nothing does it better than pain. So, uh, Mike, uh, first of all, you're a legendary fighter, legendary fighter. You rock. I've been called worse. Well, my question is, <laughs> you've been called that. My question actually isn't about fighting. I know that uh, I've heard that you actually uh, love uh, pigeons. Yes, I have. Do you have a Do you have a certain uh, like a favorite type of pigeon, um, like a a, a favorite species yes, I do. Do like that. Yes, this is true. And I've had pigeons you're in the past. absolutely right about what you're saying. <laughs> Continue. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I actually had a uh, pigeon coop. I actually had pigeons, so that's why I'm kind of interested. What kind of pigeons did you possess? I had all kinds of, like, mixed up <laughs> pigeons, man. They were just whatever we had. Like, there was, like, some rollers, some of those with the fan tails. Yeah, I had some of those as well. Yeah. But I'm really, um... Exclusively with rolling pigeons, you know, the pigeons that roll, they roll away. Sometimes they hit the ground and die. <laughs> I didn't even know there's different types of pigeons. Yeah, it's one of the species. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, how many do you, do you know? Um, quite a few, a couple of hundred species. Wow. Okay. That's great. How many pigeons do you have now? Do you have pigeon now? Probably two thousand. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks. Did you remember all of their names? No, but I know if any of them's missing. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a warning? You have track of all 2,000? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Awesome. I'm inclined to believe him on this one. No, 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 listen. If, if I could, you can't imagine this. If I have a thousand birds in the air flying, and I fly my birds, so I let them out and they're flying, I can tell if it's a strain there. <laughs> Yes, you know. Do you, you know, think about him fly pigeons? You yes, no. Ever tried yes, trouble with a You can't explain it. Yes, no. You know your pigeons, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. Okay. First of all, big fan. Congratulations on your long career. Thank um, you. Absolutely. Mine's not, you know, as deep of a question as you know what got you through life or how many pigeons you have. Um, that is no. I just had a, I don't know, question because, you know, the career you had and kind of, you know, kind of question brings up. <laughs> Would you punch me? <laughs> For how much money? I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much I got right now. Hold on, give me a second. I think there's probably some sort of liability thing there. I mean, I can sign a paper. I mean, happy to do this. Let, let's draft that. Absolutely. <laughs> Responsibility on this side of the stage first, then then we'll talk about it. Right, thank Does you. anybody live here? At, um, I was at the Ohio State Fair. The Ohio State Fair. Yeah. yeah, I was here in like '83. Yeah, I like this place. <laughs> I saw Melissa Manchester perform. I was like 17, 16. I saw her perform. I saw her weekly. I saw you know Ohio State Fair. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi. <laughs> what do you think about Ronda Rousey? I think she's awesome, right? Woo! Yeah. I think you're awesome, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Mike. Uh, okay. how, many, how many times do people ask you to punch them? How often does that happen? <laughs> Quite often. <laughs> Quite often. Hey, champ, quick question. How do you feel 
feel about Jamie Foxx playing you in your upcoming movie, your biopic? I think that's pretty awesome. I think he's gonna do a good job. And um, it's so ironic that we're talking about this because you know, um, Jamie knows me very well. You know, um, a long time ago, Jamie used to work for me. And a friend of mine, we had this little, what is it, I don't know, um, cell phone page business and my friend convinced me to get involved in the finances and um, Jamie was there and he was working. We had no idea he would be who he is now. But he used to imitate me even back then. I mean, so the average is staying stuff. How did you feel about Michael Jai White playing you in the HBO movie in 1995? Well, listen, he didn't do a bad job, but it wasn't, it, was it, it wasn't no eight, no, no stunning performance. You know, but it was, it, was, um, it was suited for what it was, a television show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I did want to add, I think Jamie Foxx will do a great job um, acting as you, because, I mean, look what he did with um, yeah, he's gonna do a good Ray job. Charles, but uh, he played Ray Charles very well. But I just wanted to say to you that you've been a tremendous inspiration to me in my life. And, you know, I'm a runner, and I had a lot of ups and downs, as you have. I didn't raise pigeons, but I did raise game chickens. Game yeah, that's good, too. Yeah. And we Fighting birds. birds. Yeah, it's a... Down south. I, um, You're a little dark side, man. Right? Yeah, I, like, um, I loved your HBO special that you did Thank you. about your life, and I just I watched like all of your fights, the highlights of your fights with Mama saying not to that, and I just remember just you were so powerful, You're such a powerful individual, and a lot of times where I have had a question in my life and thought about maybe relapsing or having a hard time. I've thought about how far you've come and just just seeing you continue to make it is it's a nice reflection to look at my life and know that I can do the same thing. Continue. Thank you, thank you. But I just want to know I'm by far my anything perfect. I'm just one oh, I know. one minute, one second from relapsing doing a line, having a drink, uh, sleeping with a stranger. Um, <laughs> but I just try not to. Yeah. I get to today. I just want to. Don't do today. I looked up to you, and I'm seven years old. Thank you. Over too, so. Congratulations. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you very much, man. I think we have time for these last two questions here. I was just wondering, because you've gone through boxing and wrestling and movies and TV and now comics, and you're doing the QA. What's your favorite memory or your favorite experience that you've had through all the different careers and the evolution of your career? I don't know, I just, um, I enjoyed being with my mentor. Yeah, that's the best time of my career. <laughs> Thank you. Rousey versus Mayweather, who wins? <laughs> I don't I don't know, it depends on the rules. Yeah, MMA style, right? Yeah, she'd probably give it. That'd be really interesting, right? <laughs> I always say if Rousey can get inside, it's over. She's a good girl. I like her a lot. She's mean, though, when she's in there, huh? <laughs> That's why I was outside the ring. She said the timid little girl. She's like, oh, I'll kill you. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for your time today. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Toxic Pop has a new Facebook page. Like it to see pictures and keep informed about our upcoming events and videos. A link is in the description. Go to www.facebook.com slash Toxic Pop 1.